Welcome to another lecture of our data structure playlist. We were studying about asymptotic notations, and there is another one. Uh, so this is the theta notation, and we write it like this, just like theta. You already know. So see, there are three functions here I have written. So one is f of n, that is our the function which is given to us, and there are two g of n functions. But look. That the constant c1 and c2 are different here. Okay, so for constant c1, it is less than f of n, and for constant c2, it is greater than f of n. Okay, or greater than equals to less than equals to. So this theta join, uh, so this theta notation gives us average case time complexity. Suppose there is an uh, given example that is h of n equals to 2n square plus n. So our uh, most dominant term here is n square. So I will do just uh, the similar thing which I have done for go and big omega notations here. So let's check. So c1 into g of n is uh, less than equal to f of n. See, it is less than equal to f of n, and c2 dot g of n is greater than equal to f of n. It is greater than equal to f of n. So see, so f of n is what? It is 2n square plus n. So our uh, most dominant term is n square. So g of n will always be n square. Okay. So c1 n square. Less than equals to two n square plus n, less than equals to c two n square. So now, what should be the value of c one and c two? So c one and n square will be what? It will be less than two n square plus n. So if value of c one is two, then it, its value will be two n square. So this is will be just less than two n square plus n. And if uh, we put value of c two as three, then it will be three n square. So it will be just above the value two n square plus n. So this will give us our theta notation. So this will be it is theta of n square. Okay. Now let's check the relative order of time complexities. Now compare about compare among them. So first that is order of one. That is the constant time complexity, and this is the lowest time complexity. Then we have order of log of log n, and order of log n. These are all we are getting from lower to higher order time complexities. Okay, so mm, you must remember this order. So then, then there is order of log n, then order of n. So this is linear time complexity, and then order of n log n. And, uh, now order of n square, order of n cube. But so these are order of n square, order of n cube. These are what? These are polynomial time complexity. And after that, we have order of two to the power n, order of n to the power n. These type of things. These are exponential time complexities. These are huge time complexities. Okay, so we always try to avoid this. And here n is what n is about uh, the large number. Okay, n is a very large number. Okay, so uh, we do not consider this type of time complexities and their order for small numbers like a uh, one, two, three, four. This type of inputs. Okay, we uh, do them. For huge numbers, suppose the, uh, the number is ten to the power five, and calculate the value of all of this, and you can see yourself that the order is holding. Okay, so it may or may not hold for uh, small values, but it will always be uh, true. This order is always be true for huge numbers, and we, that's what we do. We calculate time complexity for large numbers. So that is the order. You must remember it, and that's it.